Hello guys, it's Briggs Bo here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have another of my football match day vlogs for you guys to sit back and enjoy. So we go back to Rovers in action this afternoon. And uh, we are heading to the Riverside Stadium to face Middlesbrough in the search of three league wins in a row. So currently taking a look at the championship tables as they stand at this moment in time. Rovers are in 10th position on 43 points. Whereas Middlesbrough are 17th on 35 points, so still a very close contested and compact league table. Uh, Rovers' previous result was a 2-1 win at home to QPR on the Tuesday night, whereas Middlesbrough had a 1-1 draw to Birmingham a couple of weeks back again on a Tuesday night. Rovers uh, have improved their form quite a bit actually, got us over that rocky patch and of course with that amazing 5-0 win away at Sheffield Wednesday, something that you very rarely see and uh, our biggest away win since 1950 something, so that was a uh, Mind-blowing stat for you. Uh, but anyway, that has got us back in the top half uh, of the league table. And just four points off the playoffs where B uh, Bristol City sorry, currently sit. Borough have also turned up the heat, though. Let's not forget that. Uh, and actually, if you take a look at the championship form table, they are second in that uh, over the past 10 matches. And again, they've got a really good home form as well. But today will be my first visit to the Riverside Stadium. A nice big ground. Bigger than Ewoods, I believe, at about 35,000 capacity. All-seated stadium. Opened in 1995. Good little stat for you. And uh, this is going to mark off ground number 39 out of 92 for me. My score prediction for today's game, though, is a 1-1 draw. Uh, judging into account Middlesbrough's good form and that we've been improved as well, I think it's going to be a closely contested match. Uh, I think Adam Armstrong is going to get the Rovers goal today, though. He has obviously been firing on all cylinders, which is good to see. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's crack on with the vlog. First ever visit to Middlesbrough, so I'm very much looking forward to it. And uh, come on, Rovers, let's get the win this afternoon. <laughs> Game we could win one nil, and yet I thought Borough were good with the ball today. You know when they when they pushed us back, uh, the substitutions they allowed. We we probably allowed too many balls in the box in the last 15 20 minutes. I think um, Aston Belong is obviously a good footballer at this level. Um, Rudy Gestead, as Rovers fans know, is a huge threat physically, aerially. Um, you know, Walton made a great save. I think Borough are a good team. I think you know Jonathan deserves huge credit. He's he's, uh, he's found a way that suits this group of players with their athleticism in wide areas and experience in the middle. Um, but yeah, listen, it was. I think we we'll take the point on the back of back-to-back -back wins. A, a point away from home in the Championship is okay for us. Um, this is a hard place to go. Is that ten unbeaten at Borough at the Riverside? So. 
we'll just add to that statistic. But disappointed, tinged with disappointment, I think. Uh, even though I thought Borough were a good team, and particularly for long spells that second half, they were better than we were. But um, we got ourselves in a winning position, but couldn't manage to see it out. Lewis Travis has just been telling us he wants to score more goals between now and the end of the season. When you look at the sort of goal he's created for himself almost today, can you see why? Yeah, yeah. Listen, Trav, I'm, I'm probably guilty of holding Trav back. Travis, if you're playing Holtby and Downing in a three-man midfield with Travis, Travis's legs are what's important to stop transition and, and um, put fires out and when we lose the ball. Because with Holtby and Downing, generally you can pick the right pass and you can dominate the play. Um, you need to balance that off with the footballer who can tackle and run and smell danger, and that's what Travis does. He's not really given a licence to go and break into space, play one-twos around the edge of the box and stick it in the bottom corner, but um, he did that today and uh, delighted for him. He's, a, he's an amazing kid, to be honest. You know, he's a, he's a boy, really, and yet he's a scouser with, a, with a, a fire burning in his belly to be a footballer, really. You know, I think if Blackburn Rovers don't achieve where they might want to go in the next few years, I think Travis's eyes are only set on playing at the top and playing for the best teams and um, we have to try and keep matching that ambition if we can. You keep picking up injuries to attack-minded midfield players, don't you? You've lost Holtby as well today. Um, is that a concern? Yeah, that's it. You know, so Dak, Rothwell, now Holtby, you know, I like to Evans. Yeah, let's wait and see. Uh, it's a big blow, Lewis Holtby. Lewis Holtby's shown that he can score. He could do what Dak does. He gets in the six-yard box. You know, he scored two. Should have scored three at Sheffield Wednesday. And um, and that's what he brings. He brings a, a clinical aspect to his game in and around the box. Um, and he allows us to link from back to front by his technical ability to get hold of the ball.